Knicks fans, they've done it again. They've screwed you over. Your franchise, your own franchise has screwed you over for like the 30th time. Literally, I swear, once a year, the Knicks just get screwed over. And usually, I'm as a, as a Celtics fan, I'm usually like happy about that. The Knicks talk trash all the time. We're rivals. All that stuff. I don't care, bro. Like, I, I see that. I'm, I laugh at the Knicks and I move on. Like, I don't, I don't really pay attention to it. But this time, this time I actually somewhat feel bad. So, of course, if you guys don't already know, Chris Stapps was traded to the Dallas Mavericks. So, New York agreed on a trade with Dallas that includes Chris Stapps, Courtney Lee, and Tim Hardaway Jr. for Wesley Matthews, Dennis Smith Jr., and DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan. So, y'all traded literally the best thing that happened to the Knicks in the last, since Melo. And Melo wasn't even that great, like, for New York. He was, he's a good player, but for New York, he, he didn't even do anything. Since Melo, that was the greatest thing to happen to your franchise. Everyone was just waiting on him to come back, get healthy, and play for New York. And everyone in New York was excited, happy with the team kind of getting better. And, you know, maybe they could land a free agent and get better. And just, they, they said, nah, dude, we're, we're, we're getting them out of here. Out of nowhere, bro, out of nowhere, the story about Chris Stapps apparently uh, saying uh, he's looking at cl for clarity in his future role and believes the Knicks are beyond dysfunctional. That was at 1.25 p.m., bro. 1.25 p.m., five hours ago, that was said. And then at freaking 2.50, an hour and a half later, he's on the Mavericks. How, how did he go from having Knicks fan for life or Knicks... Uh, for life in his bio to being on the Dallas Mavericks in a matter of an hour and a half Like this is the craziest fastest trade I've ever seen for like this big of a star just flying out of his franchise like that Like I don't even bro. I, everyone was shook Everyone had no idea that this was actually gonna be a thing, but real quick Let's talk about what this means for both teams So for the Dallas Mavericks now you have Luka and you have Porzingis as your young core to move on with. And you have Dirk mentoring Porzingis. Dallas is in such a good situation now. It's actually ridiculous. As long as they can keep Porzingis. They get Luka. Both of them play together. They mesh well. They can get some people around them. That team is going to be great very, very soon. Like As long as they know what they're doing. And they get the right pieces around them. That team is going to be good. Now for New York. There is a bright side. I, I was looking through and I was like, all right, why would New York do this? All this stuff. There are some some conspiracy theories we'll get to in a second. But uh, there are some bright sides. Now the Knicks can sign two max contracts this summer. So they could hypothetically, it's not going to happen, but they could hypothetically get like KD and Kawhi or KD and Kyrie or just two max, max players they could easily get on their team. But I why would anyone sign with New York, the New York Knicks, bro? Like that... It wouldn't make sense at all. So I I don't know. New York just basically screwed themselves over. I guess maybe if they get like a bottom pick, they get Zion. And then maybe there's a chance that KD or somebody comes in and signs with them. But other than that, New York didn't get too like too bad of a trade for Chris Stapps. But it, it's still crazy that they would even trade Chris Stapps in the first place. And this happened so quick. As I said before, it took an hour and a half for this to just like happen. And... It, bro, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like Chris Stapps would just randomly go from being like, oh, I want to be in New York my entire life, all this all this stuff, to, oh, I'm uncertain about my role in the future. I, I don't know if this team is functional. I mean, obviously the Knicks aren't functional. Like, we've seen the Knicks franchise just be complete garbage all the time. But I don't think Chris Stapps would have said that. So I feel like the Knicks released a false statement about Chris Stapps wanting to get traded, all this stuff. And they were already shopping him around. Like, they were already trying to trade him for who knows why. Honestly, for, like, nobody knows why the New York, New York Knicks just continue screwing up. Like, the one W they took, the one time the fans were wrong in booing Chris Stapps, they end up trading him a couple years later for, for the man that locked himself inside a house and didn't leave until he stayed with the Clippers. A slightly taller Nate Robinson and, and a slightly upgraded Harrison Barnes. Like, I... I don't know what the Knicks are doing. Mavs, good job. Congrats. You guys got a good team going forward. And yeah, that's that's all I can say about this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, you know, go ahead, drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know your thoughts about the trade down below in the description. And let me know where you think AD is going. Because I have a weird feeling that AD, that uh, the, I saw like a Suns 
uh, Lakers and Pelicans three-way trade, and I feel like that's actually going to happen, but who knows? Honestly, who knows what's going to happen with AD, but uh, anyway, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Go check out the video that I did earlier today as well. It'll be linked right here. All right, peace.